नमस्कार जय हिंद के साथ मैं हूं अशोक व्यास और भारत से बाहर न्यूयॉर्क में आकर कुछ दिन ऐसे आते हैं जब हम पूरे उत्साह से पूरे जोश के साथ में एक दूसरे को जय हिंद के साथ इस उद्घोष से न केवल ग्रीट करते हैं बल्कि भारत माता की जय ये नारा लगाने का आनंद भी हम प्राप्त करते हैं और पूरे विश्व में न्यूयॉर्क में होने वाली एक बड़ी इंडिया डे परेड के चर्चे होते हैं पर भारतवासियों का भारत के प्रति जो प्रेम है वो इंडिया डे परेड के द्वारा अलग अलग स्थानों पर अभिव्यक्त होने लगा है टुडे एज आई मीट यू आई हैव द प्लेजर ऑफ वेलकमिंग द ऑर्गेनाइजिंग कमिटी मेंबर्स ऑफ फर्स्ट एवर इंडिया डे परेड दैट इज बींग ऑर्गेनाइज एट बेल रोस एंड वाई on more india day parade and how it helps in celebrating the sense of indianness in this part of the world uh, let me have the pleasure of first of all, all welcoming someone who is helping all of us in connecting with our uh, uh, that side uh, which craves for uh, tasty and nourishing food uh, founder of um, A restaurant at Union Turnpike, Santur Kripal Singh Ji is with me today. Namaste. My pleasure, sir. Kripal, you are chairman of uh, this uh, Floral Park Bell Rose uh, Indian Merchant Association, and uh, then I also have president of uh, this association, uh, Subhash Kapadia Ji yes. is also with me. Subhash Ji, welcome. Namaste, Kripal. Namaste. And someone who has been active with the community as well as with politics, uh, Hemant Shah, as program manager of this association. Hemant Ji, swagat hai. Thank you. so um as we come towards india's independence this celebration let us uh, quickly catch a glimpse of the journey which is uh, shared by many of us as we come from india uh, start understanding uh, the overlap of cultures etc so why you, you have been like a pioneer for indian community with your uh, stores in jackson heights very briefly if you uh, summarize your experience of uh, the number of years that you have been here coming from india till today i am in this country almost 48 years i came from education year i did my master year in engineering as uh, i started my life with engineering i worked in this country close to 5 years Then 1973, I got laid off. 1973, I got laid off. So then I started in this country. I should not work for anybody. So why you share your experience uh, of your journey here? Okay. So I I started. Uh, I will continue what I was telling you. 1973, I got laid off. Then that day, I decided I'm not going to work for anybody in this country. I should my own business. so that's why i started electronic store with my partner raj gandhi in 1973 and then we selected the location heart of the queens jacksonite at that time nobody was there i was the first person who started electronic business which uh, everybody buy when they go to india as well as the people want to eat here and our community has helped us so from that day my business grown up like day by day unbelievable and then uh, uh, as time pass in 1975 in our area people follow me so one by one comes a restaurant isp the business uh, butalas patel brothers everybody came one after one after each when i started i was the first person who was there today we have almost 400 store there we have indian community pakistani community bangladeshi nepalis and so many so that kind of experience i feel so connected with our community connected with india which gave me strength for community work for politics and any other occasion when the people need us for disaster the flood earth any any things we try to help them mm-hmm. so that's what i started so when these people started their association in belrose inside avenue they contact me he said uh, why can't you come here and please help us 
So we started our association before almost one and a half years. From that point, we started, we wanted to do first parade on Hillside Avenue. So with the community help, with our leaders, we have decided to do first of different kind of parade on Hillside Avenue. That's great. So as uh, we speak, uh, we are just few days away from uh, this first ever parade at Balrose area. More and more Indian stores are now uh, emerging in uh, this part of New York. Uh, lots of restaurants are there on Hillside Avenue. And of course, I have uh, someone who has uh, offered Santur for many, many years. So Kripal Singh, so many India Day parades, people here, one is already in Manhattan, there is another in Hicksville, there are few in New Jersey also. How do you see uh, the need of one more parade in this part? Well, Belrose and uh, Floral Park is one area now that has come up as uh, we can say as a rough estimate 50% of them are Indians living there. So with the growth of the Indians and uh, with the, the stores opening up, I, I personally, my thought on this is that the reason for this parade is to identify ourselves with the Americans living here. But on the other hand, we would like to assert ourselves also because my experience with the politicians has been that they definitely come for donations every time, but they don't want to give this community anything. So this was a sort of uh, an organization in which we could show our unity, our strength, and uh, put some sort of indirect pressure on them that we are here to stay forever. See, they always feel that, yeah, it's a good community. You go to them, they give you money. And then there's always that white color skin thing, you know. See, we have always lived, the, our country has lived under the British. So we always have that inferiority complex or something. So they try to take advantage of the community. So this was a, an opportunity in which we could assert, tell them that we can do and we can get together when the need arises. And I foresee that this area, the Belrose and uh, the surrounding areas, uh, will soon probably give one councilman to the city who will be an Indian. So listening to Kripal Singh, he tells me that uh, India Day Parade is not just limited to concerns about India or just an emotional collective expression of uh, patriotism or love uh, for uh, motherland. There is much more. There is uh, awareness about the problems that we face here and potential solutions that can come by if we work uh, in a cohesive and collective manner. So, Emanji, you have been on the both sides. You have been active with Indian organizations and you have been active uh, with Republicans or mainstream right. politics also. So, tell me how important it is uh, for Indian community uh, to showcase uh, their strength by coming together and maybe uh, celebrating uh, events like India Day Parade that's happening at Belarus. I have been actively involved in supporting candidates for council, assembly, even Congress for many years. And 2011, I realized that Indians are a sleeping giant in the area of Belrose Floral Park. As Kripalji said, we are almost 50%, but we are not visible, except for the business outfits which are existing on Hillside Avenue and Union Turnpike. Beyond that, this was, there was a need for, for the Indian community to, be, to come out, and for the American community to know that the significant presence of the Indian community. And uh, we, started in South Asian initiative in back in 2011 and then we realized that the potential which the Indian community has has not been coming out and so this 
by forming this organization this is and plus organizing this parade we are creating an awareness and i'm very optimistic that the amount of enthusiasm which we have been getting in the overwhelming response that the people will definitely come out in and, and support uh, the parade as well as uh, the politicians will know now the significant presence of the indian community it's a great thing and going forward in future definitely will be considered uh, to a great extent going f- moving forward what well, so why in when we uh, look at parades Uh, whether it is the main parade uh, we always have some celebrities coming and most of the time these are the glamorous uh, people who are known either through celluloid uh, that is uh, through films etc and i think you are also following the similar pattern here uh, on a different scale no no i agree on that but looks to me to attract the people youngster and uh, other people we have to have some attraction so there is a part of attraction we really mean to salute the mother and motherland here or there in india also they celebrate it in the street in the hall and big uh, ground also so this way we want to do it so this way we want to celebrate and we want to salute our motherland and motherland and this is the india independence day so we have so many population everywhere some people reach somewhere some people reach here some people reach another way so this is kind of salute to motherland so um to name the celebrity grand marshals that you have uh, there is uh, this gentleman who is known through jhalak dikhla ja program that is manish paul he is coming yeah he is yes. definitely coming and then you also have another bollywood celebrity yeah that is uh, madalsa sharma she is the new one she started in 5 um, uh, to 6 movies one movie is coming on 5th august i see she is in india she is going to come back here mm-hmm. to celebrate with us mm-hmm. kripali when people hear about the india day parade and especially uh, those um, let's say second generation indian americans and they feel okay these people will gather and maybe they have some indian things and i'm really not interested so how do you bring them also to be a part of these celebrations we try to motivate them in different ways like through the cultural link that we have or we go to the temples and somehow get the community together to give some enthusiasm to these children and that is like we we are having so many other programs this is i mean the celebrities are coming uh, maybe most of them they don't know about them but i'm sure that with the parents coming in the children might come in but then we have children's programs also especially for them then we have dance programs uh that's one of the ways to try to attract them to come in well he will you t- talk to me a little bit about the floats uh, because it is happening for the first time so i'm just assuming it must have been difficult for you to mobilize different organizations to come on board with their float so how has been your experience and response so far the response is phenomenal that is the best way of defining this right now uh, we have floats we have a band uh, which is called tapanzi band plus we have punjabi dhol gujarati dhol we have uh, organizations which are coming forward uh, a few organizations have we already lined up them up and the parade as such will be assembling on 268th street uh, between hillside avenue and 83rd avenue uh, from 9 o'clock to 11 o'clock and 11 o'clock will commence the parade westbound on hillside avenue going to 235th street it will terminate at the padavan prela field at about 1:15 and over there we have a beautiful cultural program Uh, we have different different uh, 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 choreographers renowned choreographers performing with their children and we also have miss india teen usa performing and then uh, from north india from south india from 
uh, different parts of India we have. So it's going to be a very colorful program. Uh, so basically it's going to be a full fun entertainment also. So I urge everyone to participate and please come. And Being a part of uh, this sort of a uh, uh, celebration, uh, organizing it at this age, and what is it that you would say is the secret of your enthusiasm towards such activities? This is what, you know, this is what I have in my mind. From the beginning, I love my India. So from the beginning, I have that feeling with me. And as time pass, the people, community always help us. And my main, uh, main thing is in my mind. Whatever I have, whatever I know, I want to give it to our generation, our people, so they can learn and they can learn from so many ways. And our generation is very intelligent and in what we are. They are reading fast, technology has gone up. So they know much better than us. You agree with him, Kripali, that uh, second generation knows much better than you. And now we are talking in the context of uh, Indian cultural values. Well, I think uh, he's, he's partly right. But the thing is that now it's, uh, the age is different. See, we are in an age where information is available all the time within seconds for anybody who wants it. it when we were growing up, we didn't have these computers, we didn't have those kind of facilities, you know. So, but like when we look now, the younger generation that is coming up is, in a way I feel they are more intelligent than we are. Because they have the latest information and everything. See, talk to anybody about India. If he has little interest in India, he can tell you a lot of things that we think, how did they find out, you know? So, uh, definitely the new generation has, but yes, maybe the cultural values that we long for or what we saw, they're not there anymore. And I, I wouldn't hesitate to say that India is equally uh, to be blamed changing, for that. Changing. It has changed enormously than what it was. You can see the television, the cinema, uh, the changes have been there. No, as we are uh, celebrating India's independence, let's uh, look at two sides. One is something about which you feel very excited, you are proud that, oh, India has done so well, and uh, that aspect as well as there are some concerns that you have that, oh, after independence, so many years, yet this problem is as it was? Well, it hasn't, I mean, maybe we are, we live in an independent country. You have the right to speak what you want, write whatever you want. But then it is, uh, I think the political system as it is, has not changed. It is still like the British Raj it used to be at that time. I mean, no, nobody can say that democratic countries yeah. are what are you talking? Uh, yeah, democracy is there, democracy is working in a different way, I would say that. But uh, go to a common man, ask him, they're at least bothered about what the, they, when they read the newspaper, what the prime minister has done, or what the ministers are doing. And the, these things, they definitely have affected everybody. Even when we live here, we are concerned in a way about India. But uh, on the other hand, then when we look at the politician, that we are scared of ourselves, you know. That we we yeah. have seen people who have gone from here, and uh, anybody having a clout with the police or any other uh, that uh, sort of force, you know, uh, they have been harassed, and they are really been harassed. So these are two sides, of course. <coughs> these are critical sides and there are some positive sides. So now, Kripalji, I'm coming back to you for a little bit of positive that you see in India now. Positive is uh, the growth of the country. It makes us proud here. There was a time, I can say, I've been here about 26 years, but never saw on CNN or any of these news channels anything about India. Now I feel proud when I see that they even give advertisements about India on some form or the other and uh, they speak about India. 
So that was a time when nobody spoke about India. So now we are noticed In and uh, yes, we definitely are noticed and noticed even as a power, as a power. So Himanji, uh, according to you, what is the silver lining uh, for India after so many years as we are about uh, to celebrate India's Independence Day? I, the way the growth is happening right now in India, it's not easy. 1.25 billion people. And the land is just one third of what the US land is, with thrice the population, with so many different languages, so many cultures. Every 100 miles you travel, it's everything changes. So maintaining this, uh, it's, not, it's not an easy task for any prime minister or any government. They are trying their best. And with the corrupt system which is there, it will take a lot of time because all these years things were deteriorating. So I personally feel that now I'm, uh, the certain level of optimism I is coming to me now, seeing that yes, if currently what is happening will continue to happen, then uh, there is a good, good, good sign for India. And internationally, India is, on, is earning a very good reputation. Um, again, I, I'm seeing very positive things with uh, PM Modi. Um, and, and, and the government is changing, but it will take time. It's not easy. It's in the roots. It will take some time to, to root out the corruption and root so out. So to come to the catch uh, phrase, Achhe Din, Achhe Din Aane Mein, in case a little time lega. Maybe a little bit of a little bit of a little bit. But Subhaji, how do you feel? Uh, maybe Prime Minister Modi, but not just Prime Minister Modi. Uh, starting from 1947 till today, anything that you feel, yes, I feel proud that I I'm think uh, there, whatever the my uh, fellow said about uh, India regarding the international, we are very well known right now. Prime Minister Narendra Modi really trying hard to improve. And he is working more than 20 hours a day. So, you know, it is a good sign. According to me, India is definitely improving and going marching. Give a little more time, you will see. India will remember in everywhere. But I'm very optimistic. Just for us say, log aayenge, baut bariya hoga. तो ये जो बहुत बढ़िया बातें लेकर सुभाष जी के साथ में हेमंत जी और कृपाल जी आए उनका धन्यवाद करते करते मैं आप तीनों की उपस्थिति में भारत का जो शाब्दिक अर्थ हम सुनते समझते आए हैं तो भा का अर्थ ज्ञान से है रथ जो उस ज्ञान में रथ रहने वाला है यानी जो ज्ञान के आलोक को सब तक तरफ पहुँचाने वाला राष्ट्र है और वो ज्ञान जैसा हम सुनते आए कि वो है विद्या जो हमें मुक्त करती है तो ये मुक्त करने वाला जो राष्ट्र है उसकी स्वाधीनता दिवस का अलग अलग स्थानों पर उत्सव में जो आयोजन हो रहा है उसका साक्षी बनने का उसमें भाग लेने का एक और अवसर बेल रोज में हमें इस बार मिल रहा है उसके लिए आपका मैं विशेष रूप से शुभकामनाओं के साथ धन्यवाद करना चाहूँगा थैंक यू जी साथ में खाना भी फ्री है जी ये बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट बात है उस दिन दिया जा रहा है हमारे यहाँ पे नीलकंठ धाम मंदिर है उनकी तरफ से उन्होंने सब लोगों के लिए जितनी दुनिया हो गए ये वही उसके जहाँ पार्क है जहाँ समाप्त होगी परेड उधर वहीं पे उन्होंने रखा है सो वो कह रहे हैं हमारी उस दिन के लिए हमारी तरफ से ये बहुत ही बढ़िया सो एंजॉय ज्वाइन एंड टेक प्राइड इन से जय एन भारत माता की जय ऑन द स्ट्रीट ऑफ Hillside Avenue on 13th August. The program starts at 9 a.m. Parade starts at 11 a.m. from 268th Street. Once again, thanking uh, all uh, these members of organizing committee and thanking all of you for being with us. This is Ashok Vyas. Thank you. Jai Hind. Jai. Jai.